Hello everyone, welcome back to some more White Elephant. So, last episode, did some war, got some points, but mainly tech. Getting tech, lots of tech, because we need it. Ming stopped supporting us financially, so we, you know, had to make some money elsewhere, so we went into a dive yet, took some... We intended to take money, but then I realised money don't really matter in EU4, it's points, points, points. So we should strength, took points. We didn't humiliate because Age of Discovery is on its way out. Um, but yeah, we just kind of sat. We gotta sit around, deal with more rebels, tech up, get, you know, fill up these ideas. And once we fill up these ideas, we can dev whatever we want, whenever we need it, for proper cheap. And that's currently the plan. We will eventually take all of Dive Yet and Champa and stuff, but recently. Our truth with Khmer ended, and I'm debating just, you know, finishing them off, but I don't know how much admin it'll take. 144. Uh, 95, so about 210. And I want to use that 210 to take ideas, because I think the ideas are probably more important than taking the land. Because once we've got the ideas, we can then get the land um, easier, because our land will be better. Yeah, that's the plan. Today is probably going to be, you know, topping off the uh, tech and then topping off the ideas. We'll probably be slowly working on economic, but we'll, you know, where's the dev one? Dev is um, the um, whole group. So yeah, we'll be we'll be sat around for a while. We'll probably have to dev push um, colonialism. We'll sell that to Ming as well, make us a lot of money, and that's kind of the plan for the whole thing. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll be back later once once I'm ready to start expanding or, you know, interesting thing happens or something down here maybe, we'll find out really. Right, we're almost, we've almost taken, you know, finished quantity and I swear Ming are really just mocking us because they're only demanding either admin or mill points. And like, honestly, the biggest problem we're having is Ming just dealing all our points. And um, ones that we need, you know, to tech up and stuff. Because I've, I've teched up my um, dip with, I, yeah, not ahead. Well, ahead, but not ahead. So we're just about on time. But yeah, tech 8, tech 9, can't move that, don't really care. Tech 10 is the one you got to worry about because that's the next idea group. I'm not gonna take the next mill um, idea because I do want this. That's plus 25 um, mill tactics. Mwah, very nice. We are also just at a uh, force limit. We're like just on the cusp of re being ready to start pushing out and expanding and all that jazz. Bara bang, there we go. Can't do that. Uh, dev cost, right. Still can't do it, but we'll do it in a minute. I'm planning, since we've got a truth with Dive Yet for just a bit, I'm planning to go in on Lana. But they're essentially the biggest threat we have on our border. Threat, in quotation marks. It's also almost time to dev push the institution, which will also put us behind. So yeah, I'm going to take, going to keep just taking uh, admin tech. Or admin um, ideas. Um, oh, lost Phnom pen. Where's that? This one. Do we have a claim on Khmer anymore? I bet we don't. Oh, we do. We have one in Udon. So we can go after them later because I really do want to use up all our admin points, get tech, and all that. Because we do need to try and keep ahead of everyone around us. Probably, I don't know. I mean, we don't need to, but I do like having a lot of innovativeness. We'll get, you know what, no. Ideas change. There we go. Bang, we'll do that. Land limit modifier. And we'll build cannons. 75 force limit. Jeez. Got bigger force limit than Mamluks. What about Ottomans? Can we see Ottomans? 
they have a, they might have a bigger one, they might not, I don't know. But we can have cannons now. Five cannons is good for us. And we're also, we're still making a hefty, hefty amount of money without knowledge sharing. So, yeah, there's that. That's very nice. Um, so, yeah. And we also have quite a lot of manpower from uh, traditions and core V system and we gain a thousand manpower from each thing we build points I swear but yeah we gain a thousand manpower from each uh, building we build ooh reform thank you that'll that'll just pay for that idea we took we don't even need to worry about it but yeah we have a claim on land there we have rebel uprising down here maybe I doubt it. You know what? Um, provoke the revolt. Who cares? Beat him either way. Here we go. That's done with. You lot. Come up here. We got other stuff to deal with. Boat with cannons. And we've got a claim on Nan. We claimed his Nan. Thing is, Lanna, oh, Lanna is allied with Senri, or Spa, which is our ally. So we're gonna go to war with them as well. But that don't matter. Also, Ming is stealing our admin points again. Wonderful. Oh no! I tell you, I don't care about that. Right, now we're losing quite a bit of money. You know, I said we were good. Yeah. Um, Mang Fan, Mong Mao. Spore won't even join. That's wonderful. Here we go. We're off in. They have a level 3 force, so we're going to move up. We're going to send our cannons in. Do we have any siege boys? No, we don't. We can get one more leader. Not a siege boy. Don't matter. Just gotta keep an eye out for all the soldiers. And we're gonna take everything but the four because they're a two war job, then. Yeah, cannons, great idea. Go straight through the army. Oh god, uh, ability cannot be bought. Stability is always good for me. Okay, um. Odd choice for that army to go there when I told it to go here. But, uh, here we go, look at that. Speeding through. Grab all you boys. We're gonna go down. We're gonna deal with that army. Uh, very slow, very boring. I thought this was gonna be a lot more fun. Like this whole campaign. But, uh, some of them I like that. It's even worse. Get out of it. I'll tell you what I did do. That Switch Lake campaign we did. I went back on that today. And I um, changed its government through reforms. That got me another achievement. That was nice. Nice, quick and easy in. Um, yeah. Yeah, what was it? Populists or so Populists in government or something like that. That was the name of the achievement. Oh, oh god. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, no points. Emerald Buddha. So Emerald Buddha will be removed from my attire and regain the Emerald Buddha, which gives yearly prestige and plus ten monthly karma. Or 10% monthly karma. I don't get it. Oh, yeah, it changes the month plus 10%. Oh god, everyone's dying. 133. Three. Oh, god. What? Where is. Where is Buddha? Is it like a. Emerald Buddha? 
This sacred artifact is held at temple in this province. Guard it well, for it's highly prized by our enemies. What, is that like a, you siege it down, you get it, or whatever? That's interesting. I'll keep an eye on that. That's, uh, you know what? You know I've just told about it wasn't fun? That's a fun thing. Little, uh, like the uh, perpetual deer. If you, you know, oh, colonialism. You know, perpetual deer when you do it in Holy Roman Empire. You gotta protect um, wherever it spawns. Otherwise, you lose a lot of imperial authority. That's a f it's a fun little mechanic. You know, not not game changing, but nice little fun. And do appreciate stuff like that when it works. It's, you know, paradox sometimes. Dumb. Um, go on. Get us out of it. That's what we want. We can't take capital. Uh, I'm in it. Mong Mao is in it, and uh, Wang Fang is in it. Uh, we don't gain. We don't want to gain karma anymore, do we? We want to lose it because we're gaining. Yeah. Jeez. We want to. We want to work on losing karma rather than gaining. The opposite. Go on, you got this, boys. Go on. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Come on. That was a big one. Nope, we don't get it. Right, here we go. Feed all that. We're losing money, but not really. Um, and yeah, I'll be back once this war's over, because this is a pretty done deal, really, isn't it? I tell you. You know, you heard the noise, maybe. Probably heard the start of it. But every time our and Jesus is on our side, I'll remember this. Beautiful. 622. Two. Gonna die to a hunting accident, innit? <sighs> hunting accident. Get some more while they're young. Alright, there we go. We got it down. Give us all the money. Don't really care about all else. Send me to send me. Yeah. There we go. Bonk. And we've won that one. And we're gonna spend all our admin points on coring. But, you know. Be what it be. Tell you though, another fun, interesting mechanic about the Emerald Buddha, you can apparently renovate it to give you minus karma, minus monthly karma, rather than positive monthly karma. See, that's a, that's a lovely little like mechanic to just have there in the background. We need that positive karma because we're always declaring war. We can take all this and use all our diplo all our admin points on coring. And even a few we don't have. Yeah. But hey, we're getting bigger. Got more um, more points. But now we're gonna have to start deving colonialism. Potentially. Admin points or mill points? Admin, please, because we need to core everything and then also get in with our admin ideas. Um, we are making money? No, no, not making money. So we're going to put this guy up here. Start on that province and he's going to deal with all the rebels. They're going to pop out of this place gonna come out all the back routes. Look, look at all this. Gonna deal with them. Uh, that'll do it there. He's gonna deal with all these round here. These closer. And then I'll we'll just leave them to sort it out while we're coring everything. But we can turn our army off while we're, um... Oh, while the rebels aren't at, you know, 90%. Uh, yeah, if I'm gonna lose... If I'm gonna willingly give up more mill points. 
we can barely get this one as is. And once we get this one, I'm going to start using my mill points to dev in a cheap place, probably somewhere around here. So I'll have a look. That one's cheap. That one's cheap. Yeah, I'll dev here. So that's near the capital and next to Bangkok where we devved um, Renaissance. So we'll dev colonialism here in um, Rayong. Uh, mill points, please. There we go. Mill tech. Better soldiers. One, 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 one. You know, in there at Pips. Died yet. No longer valid rival. Bengar. They're apparently weaker than us. Very much so. I, I don't. I don't realise how strong we actually are because we have fifty-six thousand soldiers, which is a lot compared to everyone else here. I didn't even realise. May as well build some more cannons then. Since we got all this money from somewhere. Um. Oh, didn't even notice. Time. Ugh. Ending this episode on a high, eh? Get rid of more mill points. I swear. I'm gonna start building manufactories everywhere. No, we're not. Because these are grain ones, which are not ones you want to get rid of yet. Oh well. Right. Yeah. End of episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um. I hope you like it. I hope you like what we're doing. If no one's really a fan of um, White Elephant or whatever, just say so. I'd, you know, I understand. I'll do something else if people really don't like it. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.